Today we're in a Ford Transit. The floor plan is the Transmodo by Wilderness Vans. Um, before we get started at the, the interior of this van, um, all of our vans are built with an 11 ply Baltic birch plywood that is laminated both sides, um, except for our drawers, which are just raw ply. And then um, we, in our construction process, everything is tabbed and Craig screwed together to give it strength and durability. So we'll start with the galley unit in this uh, transit today. And what we've got here is we've got just a small galley unit with a Dometic sink stove combo. So in this, in this one particular sink and stove, we open it up, we have a flip up sink or a flip up tap and we have a single burner stove underneath this uh, underneath this here and you turn the dial to on and then a sparker will light your stove for you. Uh, this little thing here covers up the stove when it's not in use and also acts as a drying rack for your dishes after you've washed them. If we move down on the galley unit, our first door that we have here is a flip out and this provides us access to our 16 ounce propane bottles that we have, have under here. Um, there's a location for two bottles, one to be uh, backup and one to be used. Um, and then it also gives us access to all of our plumbing um, underneath there as well. The next place that we ha next thing that we have here is we have a uh, a set of drawers. So we have three drawers on this particular unit. If we open up these drawers, we'll see the Baltic birch, the plywood that we use, um, and our construction with our tabs and our Craig screws. And then one thing that we use on all of our uh, hardware is we use a Blum soft close uh, drawer glide and push to push to lock and open um, handles. Okay so next to the bank of drawers what we have is a door that opens up and inside this, this door is where we have our fresh water canister and also our grey water for the sink. So this is our fresh water and our little fresh water 12 volt pump. And so this pump just runs on demand as you uh, lift the tap on, this, on the sink. The, uh, the lever, you lift it, and then it sends a signal to the pump so it only runs when you need water coming out. And then above the fresh water, what we have is our gray water tank. Okay, so after our water canister door, what we've got is incorporated into the dividing wall in this unit between the garage and the, uh, and the house area. Uh, what we've got is just a little storage door to store all of our kitchen, some kitchen items in. There. And also an overhead unit above the galley itself with two flip up doors. Alright, so next to the galley unit, uh, we have our little cassette toilet cabinet. Um, this cassette toilet is able to double as extra counter space for our kitchen and prep area. But if we flip up this the counter and then open up the door, it gives us access to our Dometic cassette toilet. And then this toilet, this Dometic toilet runs on the same pump that we're using to feed the sink. Uh, you just push, push this button, and it sucks water from the same fresh water tank into there, and then to flush, there's a flush lever right on the side. Okay, so across from the galley unit, what we have is we have a set of upper cabinet doors here and we open these up and what we have is just a big storage area for whatever whatever we need to store. And below that we have our uh, our fridge pantry unit and so what we've got here in this first one is our big pull-out pantry 
So we open up this pantry and we've got a ton of shelves and storage for, for whatever we need as well. Below the fridge, what we have is we have a bank of drawers. So we have two drawers and then below that we have an access door for all of our mechanical stuff, our batteries and our solar and all that. So first is we have two drawers that are both the same size. Again, same construction with the Baltic Birch. Soft closed drawer slides and our locking stays. And then above that is our fridge. So we've got a Norcol fridge here that is a dual, a dual um, electric. So we run on 12 volt and also on 110 uh, shore power. So on the end of our upper cabinet unit here, what we've got is we've got two controllers. Uh, the first controller that we have here is for our heat. So it will either turn the circulation fan on or provide us heat and it is temperature controlled. Um, next to that, we have our solar sensor. So it will give us a status of our house batteries, also our charging status, whether we're on uh, solar or on our uh, shore power. So here we are in the dinette area, which is right in front of the fridge and pantry unit. Um, so what we've got is a table on a swivel here. And then with the front two seats being able to swivel around and turn, we have a nice little dinette area. Um, now in this dinette, we remove the table and the bed and the seat folds down into a bed. Uh, if you have any problems, we have another video that you should check out that has tips and tricks as far as converting the seat into a bed. All right, in the rear of the unit, above the, the garage, we've got our, uh, our sleeping area. So what we've got is we've got a removable ladder here that comes off and, and on so that you can easily access your bed. So the ladder just clips into those little holders comes in and out. Now up here with the bed, we've got uh, on the other side of our upper cabinet here, what we have is we have a shelf and also a charging station for all of our electronic devices. So here we are at the back of our uh, toilet unit and we'll show you how to change the cassette tank on this uh, Dometic toilet. So what we've got is we've got an access door here. We have two little buttons. We're gonna push both of those, plop it open. Inside is our cassette, a uh, little green lever. You're gonna push that up and you're gonna pull the whole unit out. Take it to your appropriate dumping station. Lid off, dump. And then Install is just as easy. You're gonna come in, put the wheels down on it, scoot it back in until you hear it lock, and that's all it takes. Okay, here we are at the back of the Transmoto, uh, the garage area, and we'll show you what this whole build was based around. So what we've designed here is to be able to hold three dirt bikes in the back here and uh, in the garage section, keep it separate from the, the house living area and be able to go wherever and have your bikes handy and in the back stored underneath your bed. Okay, so we've designed this to hold three dirt bikes for this particular customer. And what we've got is we've got some tracking on the, on the floor and then we've utilized the bike binder system to hold the bikes in place while we're traveling down the road so we don't have them moving around. All right, so here we are, we've unloaded the bikes. We're in the back of the garage area. Um, as we can see, we've put a lot of tracking in here so that we can have 
uh, a multi-season use van. So we've got the opportunity to tie it down for our dirt bikes. Uh, we've got ski ski racks that can go in here. We put a track in the front for mountain bikes. Um, you know, really, really the options are endless back here with the amount of tracking that we put down. Um, we've also plumbed back here to be on the heater as the cabin is. Um, so we have a heat vent there that will supply heat into here for those cold winter months if you're going skiing and you're wanting somewhere to change and throw your snowy gear to, to uh, thaw out. Um, anyhow, so as we go through, we'll look at some of the cabinetry and whatnot that we have back here as well. Okay, so right here on the, uh, the driver's side, what we've got is a little door that opens up and our diesel fuel tank is in here for our heater that is up under the seat in the cabin area. Here on the driver's side we have just a tall storage unit. So in here we've got a, a three shelf unit that we can throw some tools in or whatever else we need to, need to store back here. Um, we also have a little upper cabinet unit for storage. And then a real cool thing that we've that we've installed in here is we've got a uh, a fresh water tank. So we've got our water tank here in the corner, and it is all plumbed into a little cabinet here. And inside this cabinet, what we've got is our mechanical stuff for the garage area. Um, we've got a little pump in here that provides 60 psi to our nozzle head and our, our hose so that we can go wash off whatever dirt and grime we have on our bikes as we come back from riding. Um, to fill this, we have just a Dometic water fill nozzle. Just hook up your garden hose right there and it fills the tank for you. 